Hey guys, first off, I wanna get things out of the way. I'm in my garage. Um, everybody's in the house right now and I'm trying to record and so it's really loud inside, TV's on and everything. So the garage is the quietest place and it's a mess right now because my mom's moving to schools, but that's off topic. As most of you guys know, I film all my videos with my iPhone 7 Plus. And I've had a lot of people ask me actually about my last two videos, um, the Avatar one where I filmed that Magic King, or Animal Kingdom and the new car reveal. What kind of camera do I have? And when I tell them that it's an iPhone 7, they honestly don't believe me. Because the quality is so good and it just looks like a real, really expensive camera and people get kind of confused when I tell them it's my iPhone. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can record on your iPhone um, and make it look very cinematic and make a really good uh, video with your iPhone. So without further ado, here you go. Alright guys, so before I start this, I just wanted to let you know that the recording software I am using on my phone is a little bit choppy so I sped up the video just a bit. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your app store and you're going to type in the app Filmic Pro. Alright, it's going to pop up and as you see I already have it downloaded but I think it does cost money. It does cost about $10 I believe but the app is well worth it and I'll explain why in just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app and I turned the video sideways, which kind of was a mistake, but it does show you what I was uh, trying to explain earlier in the video, um, whenever, you'll see in a second. All right, so at the bottom left, you see all the three little color circles. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and show you guys the different color corrections that you can do and all the different color variations that you can make your video. So as you see, if you move up, the colors get warmer and if as you go down, the colors get a little bit colder. Um, a lot of times it's better to make your colors warm in the uh, cinematic videos and so that's what I did in the avatar video and also in my um, car reveal video um, so I'm just gonna leave that there and as you see at the bottom left or sorry the bottom right click on that and it comes up with all these settings if you click on the resolution the first thing there is the black lines that you everybody wants in the cinematic videos no editing required it comes with the app so you always recorded those for the cinematic um, it just gives it that really good feel um, that you see in all those videos that you love watching um, uh, as you saw earlier whenever I clicked on that like right here uh, there's so many different options for so many different things like your video your resolution um, your sound like everything the CMS like Literally, you can flip the camera and everything. There's so many different options. Um, at the bottom left again, if you see this little A and a little circle dot, um, the A just kind of lets you reflect more on and see like what you're looking at. So I'll show you in a bit here. Uh, I was just showing you the zoom that you can do there, which is very simple. Um, and the focus. There's the that's the, that's what the A does. It really shows what you're looking at. Um, but if you, if you click the little circle right next to the A and in between the A and the um, colors, you can do your focus um, along with the zoom. So the focus looks really well because you can really literally focus on what you want to. I kid you not, this is the fourth time I'm shooting this part of the video, guys. The first time I didn't hit record, the second time I had too much storage, the third time I had my light all the way in my face like this and it looked awful. So we're trying this for the fourth time, hopefully the final. <laughs> I know some of you guys are thinking the app isn't worth the money. Trust me, it is. All the little things that you can use in the app, I've never seen it on any other free app or cheaper app. Um, this one has it best. It has the side, the bars that you want for your cinematic video. It has the color correction. It has the focus mechanism, the zoom, everything. The first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get the app. If you don't want to get the app, then this video might not be for you. But these tips that I'm about to give still help. Secondly, you're going to need a tripod or a gimbal. If you don't know what a gimbal is, it's a little mechanism where you can hold it and it keeps the video as straight as possible so you can move left and right, up and down, and your video is very stabilized. So if you don't have um, really really high quality editing software, like me, I don't, um, then you're going to want to use a gimbal or a tripod and be as still as possible. Which brings me to my third tip, which is you're going to want to slow down your video. That's why you're going to want to be stable, because if you're shaky just a bit like this, any little shakiness, this is my phone case by the way, any little shakiness is going to screw up the video whenever you slow it down. You can see some videos, uh, some of the clips in my past two videos, uh, there's a little bit of shakiness and it kind of throws off the scene, but there's not much I could do with my tripod, I was as still as possible. 
You're gonna wanna slow down the video so it doesn't look as choppy and it looks a lot smoother and it flows better uh, throughout the entire video. I think the car video is like three fourths of speed and the Avatar video is like half a speed. My fourth tip for you guys is you're gonna wanna do it in the middle of the day well, when the sun is out bright and early. Or if you're doing it inside, you're gonna wanna need lighting like this. <laughs> You're gonna, wanna, you're gonna wanna really need good lighting so um, it doesn't screw up the shots. I tried to do the Animal Kingdom one at night and it really jacked up the entire shot. I had to throw all that video footage away and reshoot a whole new thing uh, a week after or whatever, whenever I went in the daytime. Around 12 to 3 is when the sun is like perfectly above you and um, all the shadows are gone. That's why most like photo shoots happen around noon. All the shadows are gone and it's when the sun's at its highest peak and it's the brightest outside. So that's when you are going to want to shoot your outside cinematic videos. So that's all the tips I have for you guys. If it did help you at all, let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions, also let, ask me in the comment section. I'll be sure to um, answer everybody's questions. If you liked the video at any point, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and remember guys to keep moving forward. Peace.